do our best. She she smiles and uh, kind of goes back to. It. Yeah, and then we walk out. Her paperwork and such. Damn, she was not as helpful as I was hoping she was going to be. <laughs> no, definitely not. So should we um, should we head back to the estates with the others? They should be awake. Um, what would be the time when we got back to the estate? Yeah, you might still have time to check around other places then. A little after nine, I think. Or no, after nine. You guys left around a little after six, so it'd be a little after Wait. seven. Like do we 7 still 30. have to? Do we oh. still have to check out for that guy on Vero? Yeah, or that's no. what I'm wondering if it's oh, okay. if we have enough time to go back to the yeah. estate, or if I should just tell you to meet me at Vero. Yeah. Um. Say it's so, like about seven forty or so. You'd get back. Okay, then yeah, let's just head back to the estate. All right, you guys make it back, and now uh, Tibbles is awake and moving about. And I'm waiting for like forty minutes. Yeah. And then I'm gonna try and wake Garvel up. Garvishane. Tibble, you you vox Tibble, and uh, Tibble has Garvel awake and waiting for you when you guys come oh, to the Levine Estate. Thank you. Uh, well, do you guys want to get some breakfast? I'm sure you would like a nice breakfast after having to eat all that horrible, horrible <laughs> hospital food. Scone time. Yep, <laughs> all of the scones. Pastries sound pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna go to the dining hall and get some noms. So we go to the dining hall and try to attempt to take all the pastries. Yep. Uh, yeah, as you guys make your way into the dining hall, there is currently no one else in there. Uh, you have to ask a servant to uh, get the chef to start <gasps> cooking for you, but not too, not in too long. Uh, pastries and uh, other fruits and such are laid out on the table for you. Yes! Pastries and pastries and pastries. During this time, Tibble praises the Omnisai for his own good fortune while silently cursing those responsible for the loss of their teammate, and he goes to personally thank the medical staff for all they did for him. Do I play that or just thank them? That, he it is on it's silently how many too. There. Yeah. Because it, I know it's only like 7 in the morning, I don't know what time they get up or how many mm -hmm. of them are actually oh, there's, in there's the hospital. there's like a doctor and two nurses or so just... So, yeah, I think we'll play that. So, how many are in there? Like a doctor? A doctor, two nurses. Okay. I'm sure they recognize me, so mm -hmm. I guess I just walk up and thank you very much for everything you've done for me over the last few days. I really appreciate it. Oh, of course, of course. I, I hope we don't have to see you in here again too soon. Well, if you do, I know I'm in good hands. Oh, well, thank you. Tibble bows and steps out, and if Canicus hasn't already eaten, he wants to extend his thanks to him as well, because even though he didn't personally do anything, it is his staff, his mansion, his resources. Uh, the Lord has not currently left his bedroom. Tibble figures as much at this early in the morning, mm -hmm. so he goes to join them on their fucking pastry fest. <laughs> yes! Dude, Dude next bastards. time... Next time he ends up in the hospital, he's going to have, like, a huge stack of books because they're going to be so happy with him. <laughs> you know what the best part about role-playing is? Is my character can eat all of the dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's so happy right now. Yeah! Proxy Danny is getting fat off of pastries and dairy <laughs> products. Yes! All right, anyways, you guys finish up breakfast. What do you want to do? Um... We I'm gonna hit the St. Vero. Wait, Sorry. wait a second. We are gonna head over St. Vero. Do we have time before we go to St. Vero? Like, how? What time was it? Yeah, because maybe about forty minutes before you have to be on the. Boat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so should we probably head to St. Vero first and then try and go to uh, the army place with uh, Z um, Zek after? That is yes. if they didn't get anything. Yeah, that's what she didn't. I forgot. Okay. So retroactively, to also offer his condolences to the medical staff for everyone they lost after the rain. Also, uh, tomorrow we have to go to the Volcanic Estate, right? Yes, tomorrow yeah. noon. So, yeah. so you all gonna go to Vero then? Uh, yeah. just Garvel and I. 
Well, wait, do you guys but, want uh, to go with him? Yeah, but, but why this, just you two? Go? Yeah, just, because like, if a big ass group of us go, it's gonna be a little suspicious. Just chilling out for. Well, like, I, well, I mean, out. they could they could come along just as long as they're not like in the same place as us or whatever they know. Like, we, we can we can just vox them. No, like. Where's... And also, Tibble and the Sororitas. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go not play a, the pity card with Karen. Not hey. a good combination. Oh God, <laughs> tell Karen hi for me. She'll be really happy. Okay, well. How about you guys go there? Me and That's Tibble. right, you never mentioned that Karen beat you up or anything to Tibble. Yeah, I know. I'm not <laughs> going to tell him. Spoken I'm, since I'm not, not going to tell him either. I, I just told him that. Say, say hi to Karen for me. Yeah. Oh, I don't well, know why I, you would tell that now. We haven't even left the manor, but... Oh, sorry. Uh, Tibble, wait, when it happened. If we're anyways, leaving the manor, we're just going to write a note. What were you trying to say? Tactics. Um, I'd like to head over to the market and try and purchase... Weapon. Okay. Anyone wants to join me? Uh, Tibble writes a note for Canicus mm -hmm. first and gives it to the wait staff to hand to him when he wakes up, but I also go to the store. That's no way in hell I'm going to get what I'm looking for. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, you guys split up at the docks. Uh, Nihilus and Garvel, you make your way to Vera. Froll and Tibble, you make your way uh, to the Port Serena and then to the, the weapons and armor shop area. Um, Nilly, Garvel, you guys make your way up to your normal little post to uh, begin watching. You're there a little early, but not too much. Uh, are you guys going to stay the same amount as you were last time? Still too yeah, much? just can until I... we see him. Okay. Can, I make, can I make a check for any, like, sore toss or anything that are around, like, just to make sure that they're not there? Or anything like where, where we are? Yeah. Go for yeah. it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So uh, Tibble, you and Zek, make your way to the shops. What do you guys want to? Where do you want to go? I head to the shop of the man who accused Garvel of okay. stealing his gold from him. Shop. Since he and I actually <laughs> do have a nice rapport. Yeah. So you go to the weapon shop. Yeah. Zek, so, do you want to go to the weapon shop as well? Yeah, I'm also, I don't know anything about uh, Nihilus making a deal with the other guy for better prices on anything. I don't know anything yeah. about that. So, And he wouldn't recognize me anyways because I yeah. wasn't with him. So so you both uh, go into the, uh, the weapons shop. Ah, ah, Tech Priest, how are you? I've seen better days. I lift my hat uh, and set it back down. Oh, I must say, yes, of course. So... I'm feeling much better than I have over the last few days, though, so all is well. Given a month or two, I should be tip-top and not frightening off the ladies, I suppose. Ah, uh, well, that's good. What can I do for you boys? Uh, um, I come in search of a weapon. Zach? Yes, uh, myself as well. All right. Uh, what can I do for you, Tech Priest? Uh, it's rather rare, so I... I'm really just going off of hope here that you might have this. Is it a bolt rifle? Because I know it's not a bolt carbine. You just want a bolter? Yeah. Is it called a bolter? It's not the pistol. It's the one. Yeah, it's just, it's just yeah. a bolter. Yeah. I was hoping you may have a bolter in stock. A bolter? What do you need a weapon that strong for? Uh... A bolt gun. Is yeah. how it's listed here. Bolt gun. I'll leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> Well, I will. I'll go in my. I'll go in the back and see if we have anything. Uh, what can I look for you, uh, sir? Motioning towards Zach. Um, just quick question about the weapons. Mm -hmm. So, for like certain weapons, I need a certain skill to like use them, or you can like, for... technically use all weapons, but if they're untrained, you have to take half of your skill towards them. So, like, so if it, I use a bolt weapon, do I, like... Yes, yeah, so half your ballistic skill. skill. Yeah. That's why, if I find this, I'll put experience into that, but I wasn't going to spend that last week mm -hmm. yeah. for a weapon that it's... What is it? Very I mean, rare? Yeah, so, I'm, I'm not going to find it. it and so. if it came into a situation where you, like, could use it and stuff, like, you could technically still use it, yeah, but you, you just have it. a penalty. It's half your ballistic skill. Right. So you're never going to hit anything. Right. It all depends on your base skills, yeah, what you have for your weapons. Okay. So I'm pretty sure you have Laz because you had that one weapon thing, but I'm not sure what else you got. 
Okay, yeah, it's just lies. Uh, one more thing. Um, on the weapons, right where it says, uh, it says R O F, and then like they'll have like rate of fire. Okay, so, so, so like, a single double like burst like. Oh, uh, that reminds me. It's, yeah. oh, you okay, can, you and then what does like the second two numbers mean? Uh, what, there's okay, like one more time. What second two numbers? Oh, um, so like, for example, there's Bolt Pistol, and yeah. the ROF says S slash 2 slash, and then like blank. Yeah. And then like Auto Gun has like S slash 3 slash 10. Yeah. Like, uh, burst That's, of 3, uh, burst of 10. Well, what it is is, uh, you can either fire it as a single shot, you can fire it as a semi auto burst, which fires. Two for the bolt pistol, or three for the hand or the uh, auto gun, or you can fire it in full auto, uh, which gives you ten shots from the uh, hand, uh, the auto gun. But bolt pistol does not have that ability. Right. So dash. if I ha if I'm looking at this like last gun, and it has S slash V, mm -hmm. does that mean I can shoot like a like a I can semi? Shoot a semi-auto burst of three. And yeah. that's like three damage rolls. Like that's shooting three, that's like three attacks at once. Yes. Can it's it's yeah. three ballistic skill rolls. Oh, you have to roll for oh, each but, hit. You roll for each hit, yeah. But does he get a restriction at all for those? Like, does he get like a negative like 20 or 10? Yeah, like, that, well, the way that it works is, uh... So, you fire it, and then if the first one hits, you roll again. If the second uh, one hits, you roll again. So, so it all depends on your first shot hitting. Yeah, because if you just okay. miss, you miss. Okay. So next to... Uh, oh, there we go. Next to damage, it's P-E-N. Is that penalty or...? Penetration. Penetration. Penetration, okay. So, I mean, oh, so, so it, it, it neglects armor up yeah. to that much? Okay. Oh, pen so penetration, if they have three armor and I have one penetration, it ignores one. Or two armor, yes. yeah. Okay. But it ignores two? No, it ignores oh. an armor. They have two oh. armor. He, he would have two armor left to reduce your damage. Oh. Okay. Um, yes, I would like to know if you have um, any las guns in stock. A las gun? Yes, I'm, I'm sure we probably do. And he goes in the back. Uh, can both of you roll yep. your test? Just so there's no way I got that. Second so thirty-two, and it's like a minus twenty. Uh, he comes out. I'm, I'm very sorry, boys. It, it seems we're out of stock on both items. Mm. Is there anything else I could do for you, perhaps? Do you perhaps just have a standard bolt pistol? Uh, I can, I can check. Yes, of course. All right. But I'm check for that. I'm still reading this. Uh, he comes back. Uh, yes, yes, no, I, I definitely, we, we have one in stock. Uh, it's gonna cost you, uh, or, roll for quality, it's another one. Quality? Another willpower, yeah. Or, uh, fellowship. So that'd be good quality. Alright, gives you 30 something. No, you're 40 something. For my fellowship? Isn't it 32? Or, I think it's 40. My, my willpower's, uh, high. My willpower's in the 40s, but my fellowship's only 30 something. Oh, it's 34. Yeah, okay, so it is good quality. Good. Um, yeah, this that, that is uh, 250 guilt. Out of curiosity, because I have... I, the only things I've spent guilt on is I spent 10 on my hat. So I have everything I started with, plus my payment. Uh, do you happen to know how much I have total? Because I think I started with, like, two... What? You didn't write it down anywhere? Uh, no, I thought it was in the notes. That's why... <laughs> <laughs> so you had 160 or 154 mm -hmm. plus and 165 is what I make a month, so mm -hmm. I haven't gotten any of that. So I plus down like 300, something like that. We'll just say you have like 470. 470. All right, I'll go back and check later. Doesn't matter. This is uh, your new money. Okay. So I'll spend my 250 on and that. 250. Yeah. Okay. Or. 
was going to see if I could try and haggle, but from an in-character standpoint, Tybalt has no means except for, hey, you feel bad for me, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> My face got set on fire. And remember, this is the asshole. Alright, for all. Hey, he was nice to me. <laughs> is there anything else that you want, for all? Uh, yes, it's, un it's unfortunate that you don't have the last gun. Um, there's something else that I'm looking for, though. Um, it's scarcely available, but I'd like to know if you have a long las in your stock. Uh, yeah, I will go and I'll check my inventory. Wait, what? Do you want a long las or a s armor? A uh, long las. They're in a weapon uh, shop. Yeah. I can roll. Oh, okay. Roll. What's your fellowship? Oh. Um, 35. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I don't have that in stock either. <laughs> can I, uh... Can I fate point that? Can I, like, re-roll it? You have to get a 25 or lower. You can, but... Yeah, I wanna I wanna fade point it with man. Alright, go for it. <laughs> you wanna fade point that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no you can't. You can only fade point once. No. Oh. Test. Okay, fair enough. Thanks oh, for checking. What add ons are there for weapons? Like because I know there's the scope. You have a for what kind of weapons? Because yes. everything has different stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, for my bolt pistol specifically. For the bolt pistol? Mm -hmm. You can get compact. Exterminator. Look at that. Fire selector. Uh, what do these do? Because it's got it up on the page above. It shows what they do, right? Or does it just show This cost? shows what they do. Oh, okay. This shows cost. It shows cost, okay. Anyways, you can look at it. Okay. Um, so yeah, is there anything else that you want to do for all? Uh, not in the weapon shop, no. No? Okay. So then, yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys leave and he, uh, he bids you farewell. Uh, so where are you guys gonna go next? I walk up the door and I'm like, that fucking guy doesn't have shit in his dog. <laughs> um, right, so... How long were we in there? Not long. Okay. 15, 20 minutes. Nah, let's go like an hour. Okay, so they're... Are they out doing their stakeout thing? At yeah, they're Bar still doing their stakeout. And how long are they there until... What time is it? They're there until they see the guy or until 2. And what time is it right now? 11. Uh -huh. Got any ideas, Tibble? <laughs> Sorry, what? Got any yeah. ideas? Do you have anywhere you want to go? Oh, I'm still browsing the shop. The oh, he's still. Because I I just bought a new pistol, so now. Oh. Or does he have everything in the back? Does he have anything up front? No, nothing's up front. He has displays of stuff, but uh, yeah, well that's fine. Directly right. purchasable. Okay. Oh wait, does he have any displays for like bolt buttons? Like the attachments out there. Okay, then Dibble's just looking at those. He's going over his options because he was really hoping for that bolt gun, but. If it's a bolt pistol, mm. yeah. He's hoping he'll get a second chance to go roll for it. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm waiting for it to bolt. And I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Millie, you and Garvel are just chilling outside still. We are. Waiting around town. Um,. Not noticing any of the freaking people? Nope. Completely oblivious to fucking everything. <laughs> They're just like surrounding us and we don't even know and look out. <laughs> uh, at about 10.30, you see, uh, what's his name? 10.30? Yeah. Oh, fuck, this guy's inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, there's probably a reason why Marcuccio hasn't been able to nail him down yet. Yeah. 
he he uh, leaves the ecclesiarchy palace and heads over to the docks. Gets on a boat and sails away. You hear All sticks right. playing off the back of the boat. Sticks? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Um, just had to put the reference we're gonna in. hang around till two still. See okay. if he comes back. Sounds good. So just to clarify, telescopic sight does absolutely nothing for my gun if I don't take a full action to aim. No. Okay. No. Yeah, you need full action. But a red dot laser sight will give me plus ten. Plus ten. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Even if I take like full actions, so I'll get like plus thirty. Basically, what you want a telescopic sight for is if you're gonna try and break the range of like 125 and stuff yeah. and go further with a full action. So if you're trying to hit someone's like 300 away or some shit, like for some reason, just to get their attention. Or... Yeah, but Tybalt's not gonna be sniping with a pistol. He'll leave that to no. you. So yeah. <laughs> so red dot laser sight. I have two rifles now. I have that one for sniping, and I have a freaking Laz one. Yeah. It is only yeah. I think I've only got 34. Because those are the only rolls I'm good at. Yeah. So apparently. Alright, so. So at about um, 1.30 or so, Nilly, you and Garble see. Uh, oh, I have control of my computer back. I can actually look at his fucking name now. Uh, Bernadin uh, returned from the docks, and he. He heads over into the asylum, um, stays there for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and then comes back to the Ecclesiarchy Palace. Okay, so this guy's an afternoon kind of guy. All right. Um, I'm gonna vox Mercutio. Okay. Uh, wait. Before I do though, how many days are left with Frawl's wounds? Two. Just one, right? Two. I have oh, one. He has two. two. So it's the rest it's of just... the day and tomorrow. First. Yeah. Wounds. Yeah. All right. So uh, he has six wounds right now, right? Because he has ten max HP. Yeah, he's ten max HP. Okay, so yeah, he's at six. He's at two per day. Okay, so... Mercutio, are you busy? In, are you going to be busy in two days? Why? What do you need? We're thinking about hitting Bernadum in two days. Hmm. Can we discuss this before we do anything? Yes. Uh, meet me at the bar tomorrow around six again. Alright, I'll be there. Nihilus only has 35 fellowship, he only has one better than me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scratch that. Um, doubled. Yeah. I was wondering if you also had a red dot sight. I might oh. be able to purchase. Yes, yes, I believe I do. Um, he, he walks, or he starts fiddling about in the, in the shelves. Yeah. Nice. It's not nice. I missed it by two. Oh, uh, are you really? Serious? <coughs> what is your fellowship, bro? Thirty-four, and it can't be changed because I'm voidborn. Wait, but you got twenty-six though. Yeah, it's a scarce. So it's a minus oh. ten. Oh, ah, that sucks. Fiddling around uh, under there, he. Uh... You know, I have one actually, um, but this is my last one in stock, so. I'm gonna have to charge you a little extra for it. I can do that. How much more were you thinking? Uh, One thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One million dollars. I think I can let this go for about sixty-five guilt. It's yeah. fifteen more. Yeah. That ain't bad. No. So you want to do that? That's only a thirty percent markup. I can do that. <laughs> only. Right. And then yeah. Uh, hey, it's for his last one. Considering he wasn't supposed to have it, ten ballistic skill is fucking worth it. Ten ballistic skill is worth it. Yeah, that puts that's me up to correct. fifty-one base. Yeah, yeah, you're better than me. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention, what did I say it was sixty-five. Huh? Yeah, sixty-five. It's what one eighty-five. No, one eighty-five would be. I mean, I, if you want to give me one eighty-five, I am fine with that. But that would be charging me thirty-five. For the record, you, you, it's, you didn't charge me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So he only charged me 55 for it. I'll take it. I just, I just did the math in my head again. Right. Oh, wait. So you're, so you're only charging 55 instead of 65? No, I'm, I'm still charging him 65. Oh, I was going to change it later? No, okay. I'm just going to change it now. Okay. Alright, um... Uh, you exit the store and see Frawl standing right. right outside. I thank him for mm -hmm. his service. All that. So. He bids you farewell. So if you'd like, um, I think that it might be worth our time to go check out the Holy Temple of St. Garo. Stream, I can't use this. No, you're going to have to hold on to it. Yeah. Hey, what, what did, what oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was a question. I thought you said I think we should. No, no, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking to Tibble. I'm saying, like, let's fucking go over to the temple. All right. Do you want to uh, Vox, Nilly, or Zane, see if they would like to join us? They can't, yeah. Oh. They're, yeah, they're doing their thing. So I'm trying to kill them. Uh, they're they, still on stakeout for, like, yeah, five hours. Did they tell us they were on stakeout or anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be on the same island. We'll just we can figure it out after. Oh yeah, we're gonna walk right past you. Yeah. No, we're going to. You're going to the Holy Temple. You're yeah, on. Yeah, so we're gonna be on the other side. They're on Vero. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to the Museyarchy. So. Flip table. Pay attention, people. The Temple of Vero is not on. Vero. Okay. <laughs> God damn you! <laughs> Look, there's a lot of Veros. Keep it straight. Mm. Yeah, the Holy Temple of Vero is not on that island, so it's very confusing. I took a couple lasers to the face, there's some brain damage. <laughs> Man, he's gonna go to Vero Docks and be like, Damn it, it's on the other one! And go back like 40 minutes after. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you make your way there, and it is a, a very warm and welcoming church with a, a single grand spire coming out of the, uh, the middle. Um, <laughs> it is also a kind of low-buttressed kind of a a church, but significantly shorter. It's maybe, maybe 20 to 30 meters tall. And about, uh, uh, maybe like a kilometer, like, long. And pretty wide. Maybe about 30, 30, 40 kilometers wide. Or not kilometers, meters wide. Okay, um, are the, are the front doors open or closed? Yes, the front doors are open, and there are people milling about outside, going, some going in, some just standing at the uh, staircase uh, to the entrance, some inside. Okay, so let's uh, let's go up the the stairs then inside the temple. Okay, sounds good. You both enter into a very uh, large. Um, can that be like a basilica? A what? Basilica. Just a, a, a very large room with pews laid out, um, leading up to a, a podium. Uh, no one's currently speaking or anything, but there are some people sitting in the pews. Some thinking, Pew! some sitting, some praying. Okay, uh, um, can I... Can there I are some priests milling about as well. Right, okay, so there's some priests around. Um, so will I be able to... Like, I can, like the priests look different, but I, I can identify them, right? Like, can I go yes, talk? Yes, they, they all wear white robes and... Uh, okay, can I go approach one of the priests? Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I walk up to him and say hello. Oh, hello, my child. Hi, um, I was just wondering if you are familiar, or, uh, surely you have knowledge of the riots that have just been taking place over on the, uh, you know, the noble residences, uh, do you not? Oh, yes, I, I heard of the tragedy that befell the noble island. Yes, uh, so do you, have you ever seen anything like this in the past? Um, is this a common occurrence here? Oh, no, no. My, my flock has always been very peace-loving. It's been quite upsetting to me to see them thrown to such mindless revolt. I see, so, um, members of your, members of your church, um, they would have been with the, uh, the people that have been rioting. Some, somewhere, yes. I see, um, well, the riots caused the death of one of my party members, um, did you know? Oh, I, I did not, I'm very, I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, so I was just wondering, um, 
by the the teachings that you teach at this church um are your party member or are your are your members required to repent for such actions um since surely they've caused death to someone that i know yes many um many have secluded themselves uh, within the church and are seeking guidance from priests and clerics uh, day and night. Are any of them in public areas that we may visit, or...? Uh, they have uh, secluded themselves within the church. So basically we wouldn't be able to, like, know. We wouldn't um, talk to anyone. Actually came to Right. Um, okay, um, thank you. Um, I'd suggest that you try a little bit harder to keep the peace in the uh, next coming days. He, he kind of glares at you taking that a little bit the wrong way and says, <laughs> yes, my child, and walks away. I, yeah, I, 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 I intended to say it with, like, a little bit of, like, aggression Freaking anyway, so... Here comes the second riot, like... Yeah. <laughs> right there. Take Boom. Down, take down the Levine estate again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um... Can I go and sit down in the temple and just, like, look around? Sure. Okay, so I'll, I'll go over to one of the cues maybe not like sit near anyone I just I want to look around and see if there's anything like out of the ordinary that I can tell in here can I do that yeah uh, roll a perception check for me <clears throat> that fits right oh uh, my perception 30 yeah so it fits Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you, you sit around, uh, not near anybody, uh, underneath a, uh, a stained glass picture of some saint that you don't recognize. And, uh, look around. Nothing... Nothing too out of the ordinary strikes you. Um, the people look pretty relaxed for the most part. And, uh... Priests and clerics are all just going about their business and consoling some people, talking with others. Okay, well, I've, uh, I don't see anything else in here for me, really, unless Tibble has any ideas, so... You said the priests and clerics are consoling people out in the open, not mm -hmm. the ones who have locked themselves away. So these aren't necessarily people who were involved in the riot, but probably just lost someone. Potentially. Okay. Well, I meant as a general rule. But, okay. Uh, so... I mean, you're not approaching them, so you can't overhear them. Oh, true. Well, the temple is going to approach them at the point, so... Well, okay. you have a kid. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. They did cut it. So, uh, Tibble approaches any number of people being sold. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it usually one-on-one, -on -one, or is it, like, large groups of people... Uh, like gathering together in prayer for something? Uh, it, it varies. Some people are talking one-on-one -on -one to priests, others are in small groups of three or four. Okay, but there are no large gatherings, really. It's Okay, well then I'll approach the one-on-ones first. So, okay. this is about to get repetitive, because I'm going to be talking to a bunch of random NPCs asking the same question, so if right. you would like to skip that, just let uh, me know. So. You approach them? Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how I would approach them because I don't know if I would just say I'm sorry for your loss and then put you <laughs> here because it's Sunday. Um, you approach a very grief-stricken couple. Okay. Uh, talking to a, a cleric. May I have a moment of your time? Uh, the cleric looks over at you. Uh, what, what can I do for you? I just wish to inquire as to the exact reason for your visit to, you know, because I'm mostly talking to the couple, but mm -hmm. the priest is also welcome to the conversation. Your reason for the visit to the temple. 
oh, these, this poor couple lost their, their only son uh, in the recent uprising that took Farah. You have my sincerest condolences. I, too, lost a good friend uh, during the riots. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. And the, the parents also agree. Have you heard anything about what might have caused people to lose their minds like this? Or um, Did you know anyone personally who might have been involved in it? Uh, the wife... Uh, breaks down and just starts starts crying and the priest goes over to uh, console her as does her husband yeah. um, I'm sorry for bringing up anything painful yeah they stop paying attention to you yeah. on to the next one to the next people rinse and repeat yes. I'd also like to make my way over to a slightly larger group of like three or four okay so, uh, same thing uh so yeah, uh, you, you converse with them, and uh, you learn that they don't really know anyone who was directly involved in it, uh, outside of their child or brother. Anyone or who may have been lost. Who was lost in it. But as you go from person to person, you, you seem to notice that it's more so uh, the noble and middle class that is there. There aren't very many of the lower class and general peasantry uh, in the temple. In the temple at all? Mm -hmm. okay. And no one really has any idea as to what could have decided this. Like, nobody like has no. heard any rumors or anything? No one's... Okay. No one says anything that would, uh, that would matter. Okay. Well, if that's done... Some some people make a vague bickerings about the noble houses, saying that one of them incited it, but nothing substantial. By the way, the Omni Psi, I know that's a tech priest thing, but that's it's still the God Emperor, right? So it's as just far as we... the Imperium knows, yeah. Okay. But as far as the tech priest knows, would Tybalt be wrong to give a like silent prayer to the Omni Psi slash God Emperor in this temple? Like before he leaves. Okay. That would be a normal thing to do. Yeah. Okay. He does that. I just want to make sure that, you know, I wasn't like, oh, thank Christ Almighty, I'm like, you're fucking Jewish. Wrath <laughs> rains down upon Tibbles. They are angered. No, only to the uh, the cult mechanicus sees the Omnisaya as being different from the Emperor. Everyone else, the Imperium the at Adeptus large, Adeptus Mechanicus, and the Adeptus Mechanicus uh, believe the Omnisaya and the God Emperor to be synonymous. Okay. So then, yes, since Tybalt is part of the Adeptus Mechanicus, he says a silent prayer to him for the families of those who lost loved ones. Okay. And with that, you guys leave the Holy Temple of Sangria. Okay, so what time is it now? It is now, say, a little after two. So Nilly and Garvel are now done with their... Uh, Okay. Unless they want to stay longer and see if he does anything else. Um. Hmm. We should probably go. I don't know. I guess we could go meet up with the others. I don't know. Uh, Unless you want to stick around here longer, we could. Well, we need to go over to. Um. Uh, Ritual Tony. The Volcanus Estate. Oh yeah. We said we check that out for Zach. Oh yeah. We Wait, okay, yeah, let's go there. We're supposed to be there, like, we're gonna be three and a half hours late there. Wait, but aren't you in a, are, aren't you separate from us right now and stuff? I guess we could say over the vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, 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 I, I, I was just saying, like, out of character, like, we're oh, three okay. and a half hours late. Uh, let's, well, let's can say we, say, guys can we say that we said that over the vlogs and that you're gonna go meet us, meet up with us there anyway? Yeah, let's... Let's say that like you guys didn't spend that much time at the Holy Temple, so by the time you guys get there, it's going to be about one instead of three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so we. Except for uh, Garvel and Nilly won't catch up with you until three thirty. Okay, so they're already ahead towards the. Um... Yeah, they're there now. Was it okay. today? I thought it was tomorrow. We were supposed. To... Yeah, I'm pretty sure okay. it's tomorrow. Yeah. You guys actually. So, so, so tomorrow at noon, right? So us. So. 
us non like not knowing that they're there already, we're gonna right, just right, hit it. Never mind. Everybody, Wait. shut up. We're all headed there. It's tomorrow at noon. It's tomorrow at noon? Yes. Because yeah, it was oh, two days, okay. right? Yeah. Your appointment is tomorrow at twelve. You guys oh, yeah. it is now three o'clock. You guys can all go there still. But, but yeah, we could go there and we could we could go there and try and persist to get in if you're really that impatient. No, yeah. not really. Go to the general housing and like bust that guy's fucking door in. What guy? <laughs> we already talked to him. Oh right, right. He already gave you everything he's gonna he pretty much knows. I mean what we could go do it again just to oh, scare no. the shit out of him, but <laughs> oh, oh, right. I guess I was get some deranged guy like screaming at his door. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get I, 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 I wanna see him do a shotgun roll to like hit the door with like the freaking hilt of his shotgun to see if he hits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, what do you guys wanna do? Uh, so, um, unless they have a better plan. Uh, yeah, oh, so, so basically, we're all waiting till tomorrow to go there. Then we're not going to try and intrude earlier. Yeah. Um, so where are Tibble and Frawl? Tibble's heading to the bar. Okay. Wait, what? When did that happen? Just now. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Frawl is either following him or just leaving the Holy Temple of Saint Vera. Okay. Well, really funny because I want to go to the Holy Temple now. All right. And I follow along going to the Holy Temple. Okay. Well, you guys are going to be there, like, in 40 minutes or so. Yeah. I uh, guess... For all, do you want to stay there, or do you want to go to the bar? Uh... uh I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay around. I'm gonna, like, meet What's them, the... like, back, and then just stick around the temple with them, kind of just okay. watch what they're doing, yeah. So, Tibble, what are you doing at the bar? Well, I think since I noticed, obviously, yeah, sure. so, you know, <laughs> since I noticed that most of the people were upper or middle class at the temple, I figure not every mm -hmm. person uh, who lost someone in the riots mm -hmm. is going to take the religious route. Some will probably be drowning their sorrows. Dragon. Dude, so should try and gamble at the cards and try and get like another mechanical arm or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet my mechanical sick. arm for yours. <laughs> uh, so. You head into the bar, and there's there's a decent number of patrons uh, sitting around in the on the tables and at the bar themselves. Some of them seem a little bit more sad than others. Some of them seem jovial and celebratory. Um, yeah, yeah. You enter. You okay. enter the bar. Well, for those that are jovial and celebratory, I'll get to them in a minute, but I head towards the, uh, some of the more downtrodden, mm -hmm. sullen ones, uh, and, uh, is it tables, or is it, like, an actual bar with, like, stools? There are bars with stools, and there are also tables. Where are some of the more downtrodden ones? Both. Both? Okay. So I guess I'll head to a table first, and ask okay. if, uh, the seat is open across. Um, they 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 motion that you you can sit you may sit if you want. Pardon my intrusion, friend, but I notice you look a little downtrodden. Might I be so bold as to inquire as to whether or not that has anything to do with the recent riots on Pharaoh? Oh yes, one of my my best friends died in that revolt. I apologize sincerely. I also lost someone. It was a tragic event. Do you have you heard any rumors around town as to what could have possibly incited something so vile? Uh, I think I think it was probably one of the noble houses that started everything. I mean, I don't know why else they would that people would do this. I personally heard that uh, the attack centered around the Levine estate. Have the Levines done anything? to anger the general populace? I've only been on this world a short while, but I haven't heard of any such thing. No more than any of the other nobles would have, no. Has there been a rise in uh, distaste for the nobles as of late? Or anything leading up to this? No, it just, it seemed like it came out of the blue. That's what it seemed to me as well, though I'm not familiar with this planet, so. Do you know of anyone else? Maybe. Who's heard of anything, or... 
And he, uh, he motions towards some of the uh, more celebratory people. They seem pretty happy about everything that happened. I would noticed that when I walked in. I figured I'd get a more, well, perhaps not more honest, but maybe more down-to-earth response before I talk to them. Thank you for your time, and I'm sorry for your loss. He goes back to drowning himself in some, some Amasek and some beer. Right. So Tibble heads, heads over towards the... Uh, Get that oddly burr. happy people. All right, uh, Nihilus, you and Garvel make your way into the Holy Temple of Saint Vera. Yay! Oh, you see Frawl sitting Yay. in the corner, staring at uh, stained glass painting, and occasionally looking around the room. Hmm. Uh, Frawl, fancy seeing you here. Did you like walk up to me, or did you like just like yeah, the, that out? Yeah. They walked okay. up to you. Um, I'm just I'm just here trying to determine if there's anything over the ordinary. Um, this place seems a little bit strange. Well, I'm going to be talking to one of the clerics here in a second, so I'll let you know how that goes. Was okay, it Tibble with you? Where did he go? Uh, he went to drown his sorrows in beer. No, but actually he's um, he's also trying to investigate um, as I am. I figured as much. I wouldn't assume that a kid would go to a bar. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna order some milk. <laughs> <laughs> I drown my Good. tears in milk! Chocolate my tears and dairy products with like a like a spinny straw. Yeah, milk is how I create one of the my crazy tears. straws. Nilly, can you roll a perception check for me? No. Yeah. See, do. Kind of a sippy cup. Doesn't even matter. Garvel Zane, can you roll a perception check for me? Okay. Nope. See, it doesn't even matter. For all, can you roll a perception check for me? See, it doesn't even. It doesn't matter. even matter. It doesn't even matter. You want me to roll one from the bar? So, and yes. nothing else matters. You know what? Go ahead, roll one. Can we just your brown mm. <laughs> From the bar, what do I notice in the temple? <laughs> I, knew, I knew you weren't drinking. <laughs> yeah, Tibble doesn't drink. Uh, anyways. We shall teach him. Uh, Nilly, it's your move. What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna go to one of the clerics and ask for cleric Signwolf. Okay. You gonna do that? Are we gonna roleplay this, or are you just gonna tell me what you're gonna do? Oh, you want me to roleplay it? Yeah. That's generally what you do in a roleplay. <laughs> 90% of the time when you're in a roleplay. It took me about three hours to get started, but I'm trying to make an effort. <laughs> <laughs> um, may I speak, speak with cleric Signwolf? He is available. Trying? Um, I'll go and see if he's uh, if he's out from helping uh, the flock, and he uh, he heads towards the back of the the, the temple and do some of the uh, like sepulchre doors. Um, about maybe ten or fifteen minutes later, he comes out and says, uh, "I'm sorry, he's he's still with a a." Uh, some repentance, uh, repentant people. Any idea when he will be available? Uh, it could take anywhere from an hour to three, maybe. Alright, well. Thank may you for I, the May info. I ask why you've, why you've come? Oh, I just wanted to speak to him. Alright, well, if if I hear that he got out any sooner, then I will let you know. Thank you very much. Tibble, you make your way to the uh, the happy people. Okay. Doing their happy people thing. They're getting their drink on. Getting our drink! So, my people, what are we so celebrating pretty. over here? We hit those noble bastards right in the face. Right in the fucking face, man. Pull my hand off. <laughs> Good times. They... They look at your face, and or they look at your your bald head, and kind of laugh a bit. 
I know, it's pretty fucking hilarious. What are we drinking? Ah, oh, beer all around. That sounds fucking awful. Get me a water. <laughs> <laughs> water? Yeah. No one Fuck celebrates it. with water. Get this boy a beer. Are you paying? Ah, uh, you know what? For you, yeah. All right. Barky. Send my drink to the man over there. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Wow, that's that's fucked up. He's, he's not going to be happy with that, buddy. No. Yeah, well. That's a bad move. He probably should have thought about that before he bought beer for a 16-year-old who ordered <laughs> water at a bar while everyone's celebrating. But you're trying to communicate with drunk people. Yeah. I am a drunk yeah, just, person. Just, yeah, just I can it. tell you right now it's a bad idea. I know it's a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> He, he Tim, it's not exactly happy right now that these people are celebrating. He watches you uh, give his beer away, or give your beer away, oh. and uh, he kind of just turns his back on you and starts and rejoins the uh, the group at large. Dibble dwarfs his way into the group. So, what do those fucking bastards do, huh? Nobles, am I right? <laughs> he's he's like the guy that like tries to fit in, but he like doesn't like. He's like on the outs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. Zach, <laughs> we need to work on your people skills. Tibble doesn't have people skills. That's the point. You could have uh, just called role playing. And pretend to play the drink it. You see them uh, kind of agitatedly look at you. <laughs> Someone get this kid out of here. Nah. I got nothing. You guys should talk to me more. They kind of, they kind of try and they push you back a little bit with their elbows, getting you. Whoa! No need to get hostile. We wouldn't want to incite a fucking riot or anything. God damn it! You really shouldn't be doing this shit when you're by yourself. Zach, can you roll initiative for me? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Why did you bring me? <laughs> oh boy! Bar fight. <laughs> Gotta yep, fight for your life. Yeah, if bar fight. <laughs> Give me a minute. God damn it! It's so funny because he's so definitely like that one kid who like goes to the bar and it's like just like standing there like, hey guys. Right. So yeah, I'm clearly the kid who wants to be accepted by everyone. <laughs> Tibble's not like being pissy with these people or anything. He wants to be their friend. You finally get to see what the inside of this bar looks like. Totally different than I imagined it. <laughs> A very rough sketch. Man, you could have just taken the beer and been like, man, like I had all this hair burnt off my head, but I don't even give a shit. <laughs> Exactly. You gotta be a badass. Not like, trying to oh, be a badass. Get this Again. kid a beer. Role play. Yeah, like, triple fisting beers. He's got like one in his mecha dendrite. Like. <laughs> yes. Just not not exactly <laughs> too smart to be doing this shit right after getting out of the hospital. Oops. It's not like I was picking a fight. I was trying to make a point, and it ended up picking a fight. <laughs> I just happened to pick a fight, yeah. alright? It's not like it was Tibble's intention. Was it mine? Maybe. <laughs> but that's what happens when you separate character knowledge from personal knowledge. Oh, god damn it, you. I'm trying to. This guy. Uh, okay, non hostile. Non hostile. Non-hostile. Okay, fuck. The tables are full of non-hostiles. Okay. I'm not gonna drag all of those motherfuckers out there. I wanna do it. I'll drag all those motherfuckers out there. Oh, initiative. If we have to bust in here and break up a fucking bar fight, that devil starts, like... <laughs> I'm so down. <laughs> We're so fucking doing like, this. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be one handing like the melee weapon, the other hand like slamming a beer, like Yep. <laughs> Bar fight Oh Zane you have to do it again. Is, Why do I have to do it again? Zane Wait, is definitely I, experienced with this kind of situation. 
But why does it say that? Oh, because he doesn't have initiative. That's why. If only we had our psyker that wanted to use like the freaking Shh, fuck weapon. that guy. <laughs> How do you piss off so many people? <laughs> This was a horrible idea. Yo, what the fuck? If you die... You need a freaking grenade, man. Yeah, like, uh, ace No sympathy. No sympathy. But you might as well just strap dynamite to yourself. Did more than you guys did. Um, alright, let me move it to the combat screen. God and damn. this, children, is why you always accept the drink when you're offered it in the bar. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I don't go to bars. Like, you, you were doing real good until you gave the guy's drink point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this guy's the guy that gets to go first. He bumps across the bar to try and get closer to you. Okay. It is now your turn. What do you want He's to do? He's so mad at the little kid. I take a half step back, pull out my bolt pistol, and say, I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk with you people. Trying to be as stern as possible, but dropping my, I don't know, sardonic facade. Mm -hmm. uh, this. All right, I'm gonna go from left to right. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By the way, I pull out the bolt pistol Wait, for intimidation. Sorry, as if I were actually. I, I have a question for you. Pistol. Is that are those Sorora toss that you have on there right now? No. 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 What? Are, where are those? Those are bar patrons. That's just the oh, standard okay. enemy. Okay, I just got confused because earlier we fought one and it was the same icon. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Did all those guys pass out drunk or something? Most of them all run away. Okay. It's still like 3v1 if you don't count the bar attenders and shit. Um, this one... The one that lunged at you moves forward, looking quite pissed. The other two still kind of hesitantly don't really want to do anything. By the way, it took a half action to step back and a half action to ready my uh, bolt pistol, right? Okay, so there's no way Dude, I could ready th that's, the, that's the guy who offered him the beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, sorry, the other two don't make any movement? The other two don't make any movement. They're just kind of looking to the one guy. So it's now your turn again. So, I holster the blast pistol, and by the way, does holstering take a half action? No. Okay, so no. I holster that and pull out uh, my last pistol, take a half action, or not half, I don't care, I just, I ready it at him and say, Ooh. I just want to talk with you, well, but wait, I want to have a, or sorry, I want to have a serious conversation with you, but I don't want any trouble. Oh. Uh -oh. If we're going to have trouble, I'll walk away. What did you holster? Wasn't that a pistol? Or that was I, I have a bolt pistol now, but I can't aim uh, with it. I okay. pulled it out for intimidation. To, well, yeah, I can, but I meant, like, it's much harder. I was I just it out. making sure that you didn't, like, holster your pistol and pull it back out and be like, okay, buddies. No, I put away my time. giant fucking pistol. My, I put away my hand cannon and pulled out <laughs> my magnum. Uh, he clumsily throws a punch at you. Okay. And, uh, it... It misses you. You move out of the way of it. So, uh, when I ready that, that's a half action, right? Okay. Pistol whip so that asshole. Can I take a step back and not lose that? You want to disengage? Because you're now in melee combat. Because you threw. I so I can't fire my gun. You can. Oh, I can. Or you can disengage. All right. So. I suppose it doesn't matter one way or the other, but, uh... Take in mind... Okay, I don't know what the fuck that yeah. is. This, okay, but take in mind that that close firing, like, a weapon like that, if you, like, hit someone else like that, yeah, I what, watch what out, because the, 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 the bar the keeps might... If I, currently, it's pretty low. It's pretty low? Okay, so, yeah. That's insane. I would like to make keeps. a called shot to his foot. Which, I realize the accuracy is low, but... Negative 20 on your roll, yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of the point. So, that's fucking fine. And it jams. Oh, yeah. God. 
So, yeah, you well, fire and it hits the floor. I already took a half feet. action. It's a half action to fire. So I'm going to use my technical knock to unjam it. So it's unjammed by next turn. Yeah. Well, from what he's saying, you didn't jam so. it, so... Uh, yeah, so you so, fire... Uh, so I continue again. It hits out his feet and... Uh, Step back. It sizzles the, the, the floor below his feet. And... Uh, this unnerves him, and he, he, he runs out of the uh, the, the bar. He, he just sprints out of the bar. Okay. Um, the other two both also make their way uh, towards the, the exit of the bar, and the owner yells at you to stop fighting. I apologize to the bar owner and flip him five gelt to pay, not it's going to pay any damages, but for any inconvenience, mm-hmm. since I didn't buy anything. So... Um, that will knock me down to 150 and I also does anyone in the crowd who I pissed off stand out to me as like was there anyone who is still here who is talking quite a bit no no one I recognize just anyone uh-huh. who is talking more so than or anyone who is celebrating particularly hard someone blabbering too much from being too drunk is there anyone left who's still celebrating yes, well I know a lot of the people backed off but you didn't say everyone left you just said they weren't they like disengaged Oh, yeah, there's two people that are currently running away from you. Mm-hmm. Well, there's one person who ran out the bar. There are two people who are They're running, running away from me, but you said everyone else just kind of went back to their drinking. Yeah, they're gone back to their drinking. So only the people left. Most of them all fucking left when the okay. fight started and you pulled the ice call out. They were zen. They'd be like, oh, fuck that kid. <laughs> so I call out <laughs> one of the ones who's running, the one who is closer to me. I call out to him to stop where he is. Okay. Are with my gun still raised. I'm sorry? So you're aiming at him and doing that? I'm, I've am i got him in my sights, and I've called out for him to stop. Uh, okay. They both run through the door. Okay. <laughs> so there's nobody left who is celebrating? No. Okay. The entire area of the bar is... That's and the this bar. is what happens when you give a kid a handgun and let him go into a fucking bar. Right? Yeah. Uh, as you turn around to the barkeep, he's, he's now holding out a shotgun... Just demanding that you leave. Yeah, I, my sincerest apologies. I will most likely not be returning here. I think God that's for the it. best. I apologize for anything else Zane does. Good. Now I can never <laughs> fuck take you to the bar again. I'm never going to the bar again. <laughs> Tibble Shut doesn't drink. This bar. was his first experience in a bar. He nearly got jumped, and nobody gave him any fucking information, even though he asked politely. Please, please can we? Can that was politely. <laughs> Can, you can the about this a fucking gun in a bar? Can, please, can like the bar keeps like recognize something like, about <laughs> seeing, like being in the bar and be like, but he's like our like, like most usual <laughs> customer. Like, <laughs> busted into the bar, started trying to talk to random people, didn't buy anything. Somebody tried to buy you a drink. You like gave, and I gave him to another patron, and then you pulled a fucking oh, gun on him. God, I, I swear, if I go into the bar after I get a beer and they're like the guy that sold me the silencer and kicked me out, like <laughs> you're gonna get like hell from Zane. Like, you know, I'm gonna go visit my buddy in the gun shop. <laughs> you have your people in the bar. Fuck you, buddy. You have your people in the bar, who I hate, and you have the gun shop owner. But you just told them my friend fucking Zane, so now they're gonna think I'm related to you. <laughs> Fine. I apologize for anything that freaky assassin guy does. <laughs> Don't worry about it. At least he's not wearing a onesie anymore. Anyways, no. I still count so you said my name. I'm uh, glad that our party is having issues now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. You want to go back to the administratum and see what's going on in that one room? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am so glad I didn't go with you to the bar. <laughs> you yeah, could have talked me out of it. Dude, you piece you of brought, shit. You sent you a brought, 16-year-old to a bar, and you're like, man, he really misbehaved. Dude. <laughs> if you brought me to the bar, I would have, like, grabbed the beer and be like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Zane right? would have saved the fucking situation. What's your excuse? You're just like, nah, I want to stay here at the temple. The I'm kid's got it. So, yeah. yeah. He's got no hair. He knows how to handle himself in a place full of people riddled with alcohol. Uh, Nihilus, eventually that guy comes back to you and, uh, set, er, leads you into, uh, a room, uh, asks that, uh, Garvel and Frawl stay out in the main area. Of course. And, uh, he leads you into a room with Sinwolf. 
Is it just him and I alone in the room? Uh, yes. Uh, the guy leaves and closes the door behind him. Okay. I'm in our room again. With another man. Hmm. Hopefully so. not trying to rape you. Oh, you already changed it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Signwolf. Yes? Um... Were you... Recently, there was uh, the riots. What What do you think about that? Do you know anything about it? Oh, that was that was a terrible, terrible tragedy. Yes, it it certainly was. Do you, Do you know anything that happened? Like, who was leading it? Uh, I just heard that it was a bunch of the uh, the poorer people. They just they got fed up with how they were being treated and decided to attack the nobles. Well, why do you? Why would they go after the Levines, though, specifically? The Levines? I, I didn't hear that they were attacking the Levines specifically. Well, we had to defend the Levine house, and the Decal estate wasn't hardly touched at all, or the Volcanus. Just go ahead and divulge that. Hmm? I said just go ahead and divulge that. <laughs> Well, that wait, why? That we were defending it? Because aren't you trying to remain part, at least partially secretive about this? Because Tibble's just been going around saying that he lost someone, and he's been specifically asking, saying he heard rumors. Certain firefighters. That way, you know, you're not specifically tied to the Levine. He doesn't know you're investigating for them. Because it's not like they would have had time to be like, oh shit, we need to hire outside defense forces. You guys get over here. Because the riot only lasted for like what two hours. So by the time, I, it takes like 30 minutes to get over there, so by the time they realized what was going on, realized they needed help and called you over, it would have ended, like, very shortly afterwards. Well, yeah, but they don't know that we're working for the Levines. I just asked why... Now. Yeah, they do now, because you said that we were defending their estate, and you specifically noted that they were attacking that estate in particular and not the Decal. Uh, or the... Well, and you just divulged that you were hired help for defense. Well, that doesn't fucking matter. It might to the guy who organized it. We'll see. So, do okay. Yeah, like, yeah. At fuck least off. the people I pissed off were poor <laughs> commoners in a bar. <laughs> they're like, they're gonna go run home and tell their wives, they're like, man, some kid pulled a fucking gun on me today. This guy's gonna go back to his office and be like, alright, so let's bomb the Levine estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's very strange. They, they didn't attack the... Uh... The governor's mansion. Then, I so. didn't tell them to do that. You weird. No. What? <laughs> Pay the fuck attention. There's like four people fucking talking. <laughs> yeah, Dude. but when I talk, it matters. When everyone else talks, it doesn't. I can't fucking hear you over everyone else. <laughs> Vince Anyways. not even there. I am sorry. I'm Zane in real life now. Zane wear uh, sunglasses. He said yes. that was very interesting, and he didn't re er, and that you said that the uh, Decal estate was untouched. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you know any reason why as to they would be specifically mad at the Levines? Have the Levines done anything to the poorer of the people on the island? No, not not that I'm aware of. I don't I don't know why they would pick them out. Well, then what beef do the people have with the noble estates? Oh, just the normal things of unfair uh, wages and alike, you know. But, but for riots, that doesn't seem very unnormal. If it was just normal, then why would they care this yes, much? Yes, I know. It's, that's why it's so surprising that the riots took place at all. I've, it didn't seem like there was that much civil unrest. Any idea who was leading them? No, from what I've heard, uh, a few names have been mentioned, but nothing that I would trust. Like who? Oh, just, just some people from the, uh, just some of the commoners. One, Tibbled Metallus. <laughs> um, what do I have in my inventory? Oh shit, where the fuck did that go? I think the Zek guy might have been implicated. 
And this duck wizard named Garfield. Can I take my club and like put it up against the door so it kind of braces it shut? It well, it's not that long. Oh, it isn't. Yeah. It's it's a club. It's like maybe two feet long, three feet long. Oh, okay. I am be... sorry that I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. That's why I shouldn't leave. Yeah. Is there a lock on the door? Uh, no. It's it's just a it's a it's like a sliding door. Oh, okay. Um, Am I still with Neolis right now? No. You no and uh, Zek are hanging out. Okay. Neolis is on his own. Side note, Zek, if you'd come to the fucking bar with me, you could have seen me go berserk and gotten yourself 50 experience points. That wasn't really berserk. You were controlled compared to everyone else. I don't care. I'm still calling them out. They give me shit. <laughs> berserk, can I have some milk, please? <laughs> <laughs> the devil goes insane! Start I'll have a water. I'd like the beer. The beer. Uh, the bears. Well, I heard around town that it was you leading them. Me? Good. Just keep telling this guy everything. Why would you... Or who said that it was me? No one in particular. Hmm, that's, that's very... It was Gerald. <laughs> that's very unsettling. No, I, I have had nothing to do with this. Well, one of the rioters said it was you, specifically you, a cleric of the Holy Temple, leading the riots. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, must, I must profess my innocence. I, I've done nothing. Uh, and then he, he motions toward the door. Please, please leave. Uh, I'm gonna step in front of the door. Okay. Okay. Is there like a thingy I can do? Like gonna need to be a little more specific. <laughs> like, are you trying to intimidate him? Are you trying to? Are you gonna like gag him and drag him out of there without anyone seeing and interrogate him at the Lavina State? You gonna buy him a beer? I'm try and intimidate him. Do you have intimidate? Do I? I don't know. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Oh, you can either roll intimidate or you can role play to intimidate him. Um, I'm gonna roll it. All right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, he seems a little shaken and quieter now, but he's still kind of just glaring at you without saying anything as you, uh, slowly pull your, your shotgun, or flash your shotgun at him. Really? I fucking nail that roll and that's all I get? Yeah. It's a very hard roll. Oh, okay. There's a reason I'm upset with you for giving this guy so much information. Why? Because this is a very central character to this. Well, why would it matter if he has information? I mean, it's not stuff it's that like already knows. It's like if you knows. rolled a three trying to intimidate Mercutio. Yeah, you rolled a three, but it's Mercutio. <laughs> He's gonna dampen the roll. You're trying to scare the freaking like, Black Reaper here. You could have rolled a 1, and this guy would have given you a little bit more information. He would have said something like, good luck proving it, or have fun trying to pin that on Anyways, me, or how do you want to proceed, be safe Royalist? getting home. Do you want to continue to try and intimidate him? Because it will get easier each successive success you make. Yeah. Or do you want to leave? I believe... You believe? I believe in the success rate. You can do it. Zane's All right, got your bag. I'll try it again. I'll, I'll try it again. Ah. Uh, no, Zane, Zane. I'm sorry, bud. Taking the drink for that. <laughs> and many other things. So, uh, Sign steals himself and stares you down. 
please leave. to do. What do I want to do now? You can either really piss him off by staying, yeah, or you can eventually going to call security. Yeah. <laughs> how bad do you want to piss him off? <laughs> right? Like, how far would you go? What Granted, would you do? We haven't proven oh, it, but we have reason to believe this is a guy who incited I don't, that killed I don't even know this person he's talking to. I just assume they're like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, you know? Fuck it, keep going, I, man! I, I, I seriously don't. Ask what, would do. what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> are you actually gonna say that, or are you just kidding? No. You should actually say that. Why would Nihilus know what a Klondike bar is? Who does the only thing that survived the last 38,000 years? It's the future, dude. Okay, so, do we Anyways, wanna... what the fuck are you gonna do, Nihilus? Um, I really don't know. Well, you're gonna have to figure that out. I know. And I'm attempting to figure said things out. Okay. Tybalt, you've left the bar. Alright. There's no sign of anyone who left, right? They're long gone. Yeah, they're long gone. And they exited through the opposite end of the bar as you did. Alright, I suppose I'm just wandering the square. Is there... I assume most of the population is still looking pretty solemn, correct? Yes, uh, it, life is starting to return to the square, but no, it's not as jovial it's or not anything as, as No, before. is there anyone, like, celebrate, I mean, I'm not gonna, like, go searching out, mm -hmm. like, someone who's, like, telling a joke or something, but is there anyone who seems uncharacteristically happy at the moment? No, there doesn't seem to be too much, uh, too much, like, too much jovial nature going on. It was mostly in the bar. Mm -hmm. Like, there are some people, like, telling jokes and, mm -hmm. you know, having a decent time, but no one's, like, outright celebrating at the school. There's an entertainment, uh, mm -hmm. is it district. a district? Okay, directly below, uh, the bar, or the tavern? Yes. Uh, well, it's, 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 a, it's, uh, it's after the casino. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what, um, I assume since it's a district, there are multiple places as opposed to just, Yes. Okay, so, uh, what all is in there? Uh, there's a picked theater. Um, stores for buying uh, entertainment. There are some nightclubs uh, and other less sundry kind of places. And um, what brothels or? What? Yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure world. Wait, yeah, no, I got that. What? Just, what would the miscellaneous shops be? General stores. Grocery stores, places that you buy like furniture and shit. So if you want to go buy some oil to like grease up his arm, to be like, yeah. <laughs> so you said there are like nightclubs. Mm -hmm. uh, what time is it now? Like four or five. Yeah. Four or five. So they would like just yeah, be starting to get busy. Either just be opening, or they wouldn't be open yet. All right. Well, Tibble's gonna make his way over to whatever, because people would be lining up outside them by this point, right? Mm -hmm. So he heads over to whichever one looks like it might be the busiest. Okay. Um, for all, Garvel, you guys gonna do anything? Uh, I'm chilling out in the pew as well, like, shit was down in that room, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it, right? I don't even remember <laughs> where, like, I am. I just know that I'm near... You guys Zen. are both in the, uh, Holy Temple of St. Vero. In okay. the, the main room. Hmm... I'm just wondering what's going on in that room, but I'm sticking around waiting for Neil. It's not gonna ditch him. Yeah. What what room do they go? Are they in another separate room in the Holy Temple? Yes. Okay. They are in a private room in the back. Sticking around in case we only need help. I guess I'm just watching out to see who uh, enters and exits the uh, room. Okay. Nihilus, figure out what you're doing. Okay. Um, look him square in the face. Why would a cleric have an issue with the nobles? You're a holy man. Why would they bother you? I don't have an issue with the nobles. Then why would you attack them? I didn't. Uh, 
and you think the Sororitas don't like me. They don't, dude. They fucking hate you. <laughs> I know. They, they love me, man. They don't like any of us. Actually, I don't think they've had any extended time with Zed. Man, it's just yeah, like, it's like we, we don't believe you. Here, have this stick to the face. I hope you still like us after that. <laughs> Crack. Alright, anyways. Nelly? So then why would At one of the people me, under yeah. you tell you that, or tell me, that it was you? He was obviously a liar. What if he isn't? Oh, I, I assure you, he was. How can you back that up? Yeah, how can you prove that? I'm not the, the one who needs yet. to prove it. You're accusing me. I was of here something. at the Holy Temple the whole night. You can ask any of the brothers. Or the whole day. Just have it over the, day. Yeah. the whole day. What if they were just told to say that? It's pretty suspicious, bro. Hmm. So are there like, uh, are there like people like standing, like the room that they went into, are there people like standing outside the room or can I like go up to that door? You could go up to the door, but you, it's, it's behind, like you'd have to leave the main room and then enter another hallway and then there's another door. A uh, hallway. I just love My hallways. favorite place. <laughs> so do you want to try and get to the door that Nihilus is in? Do I know where it is? You only know that it's behind the first door. You don't know which room it is exactly. Uh, okay, Either I'm gonna, way. I'm, I'm going to stick where I am if I don't know. Like, I'm not going to just go like, start fucking knocking on doors. <laughs> I was gonna say, either way, if you enter or exit there, I'm still like, covering the exit and stuff, so like, if anyone like enters or like, goes behind you, I'd be able to tell you on the box. So. I might change my mind later, but right now I'm not gonna like go start knocking on doors and shit if I don't actually know where it is. Okay. Yeah. Tibble, you make your way in, and uh, you find a, a pretty long line at one of the nightclubs, and get in line okay. behind a lot of the patrons. There's probably like 30 people in front of you right now. It's the it's the busiest one. Okay. And at this point, most people are in like tiny groups. Yeah. It's no two, one's really two going in threes. alone. Yeah. All right. I suppose I'm just gonna sit there and try and listen in on conversations, but for the most part, I'm not gonna engage in. Okay. Nelly, anything you want to do? Um, leave. You're gonna leave? Yep. All right. Well, that happened like 40 minutes late. <laughs> So he's gonna come out the exit, then I, I'm like, well, he's in the hallway before I am there, but. Alright, so you're just gonna walk out and close the door behind you? Yep. Okay. So yeah, you walk out and you uh, you meet up with Feral and Garble. Um, does the temple have cameras? Uh, Can I do a perception check for this? Well, from the in the main area that you guys are in, you can clearly see a couple of cameras, a couple of picked okay. sensors. Um, so, probably so I'm going to find a cleric this. and ask when they usually um, are, you know, out on the town and about. Go for it. Um... So, is, is there any point in time when you guys are walking around town and talking to the citizens of the island? Oh, a couple of the brothers. Uh, we like to go out into the market and, and uh, preach for a while, yes. And then, what, what time during the night am I able to come in and speak to someone? Are you guys available all the time? Oh, yes, we're, we're open uh, all night. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, may the God Emperor smile upon you. And you as well. And then I'm just going to walk out of that building. <laughs> Fuck that shit. The uh, enemy uh, of the entire uh, temple. I assume me and Zek follow. Like, I'm going to follow, but it's yeah, Zek's I would not follow too closely to him. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Don't associate yourself with him. 
Do you want to be seen with me at the bar? Dude, you were the person who went to the bar and told them that you're my yeah. freaking friend. Do you friend. want to be seen with me at the bar? Anyways. Sure, sure if I can talk to them properly. <laughs> what do you guys no, want I to mean do? right now, after what I did. So, is my point. Sure. You are drunk. No. <laughs> no. Anyways, what are you guys doing? What How time is it? Conversation go, Neil. It's probably like five or six at this point. Yeah, it's probably around six. It's probably closer to six if the uh, yeah. things are just starting to get started up. For all, ask him again. How'd your conversation go, Neil? Um, not as good as I expected it to. Do it was... we have? What? Do we have reason to be concerned? What was that? Someone whispered. No, no. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what? Are you saying this? No, someone's spring over there. Telling me to do shit. <laughs> Nobody was it me, bud? Anyways, answer the question. Um, no. No reason to be concerned. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that answer. Good. Expect the unexpected. Yeah. Back the university. Okay, never mind. Okay, um... Should we go find Tybalt? Yeah, let's go ahead and find him. <laughs> so where so did we, this little kid... So so yeah, you yeah. you box him. Okay. And, uh, he he tells you what what nightclub he's standing out in front of, and you you all shocked to hear that he's standing out front in front of a nightclub. Rush to go okay. and meet him. Rush into <laughs> assumptions. I just tell him I'm at the club and turn off my box caster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the club and then low yep, right I start to You went thought. there. You went there without Zane. <laughs> That is why we're tapping without Zane, too. He goes through by the box. Zane, Zane on all is your... not happy with Tybalt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, now you guys have all yeah. met up outside the bar. Um, you're probably like third or fourth yeah. in line you now. Mean the club. The club. The club. The Which club. comes with its own bar. Which has a bar in it. You're now, you're now like third or fourth in line. No cuts. Get to the back of line, fuckers. What are you doing here? Investigating. Are you sure? I'm here for the hookers. I want a lap dance. It's not that kind of club. What's, what's your investigation plan in a nightclub? Hmm? It's a nightclub. People dance here. I don't care. I want a lap dance. <laughs> it's the wrong it. club. It doesn't matter. It's a popular one. So, I'm sorry, what'd you ask? <laughs> You won't find Karen here. Okay, um, what are you... <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> what yeah. are you going to find investigating a nightclub? The common folk. My people. Are you common people? <laughs> Not really. Okay, Not um... Not anymore, necessarily. I was. The people that don't know how to have fun. <laughs> yeah. I was just a guy born on a fucking spaceship floating through space who watched a bunch of people get massacred and then spent a couple more years drifting. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, now I'm part of the priesthood. I'm uh, a man with a cloth. And other metal things. Okay, uh, fair so, enough. You guys don't have to stay here with me. I'm just gonna talk with the people. I'm so staying. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um... Garvel can stay with you. I don't see any reason for me to stay here. Me neither. Alright, Garvel, you're perfect for this job. Sigh. <laughs> Very heavy sigh. <laughs> I'm uh, feeling a repeat coming on. Alright, Nilly, what are you and Frawl doing? What's the time? Uh, it's like 6.30. Mm. How can you feel? Probably just head back to the estate. Yeah, I already got I got shot down at the weapon shop today already, right? Yeah. Well, there's the other weapon shop, and you could ask Nihilus to go with you to that one. Shops. What? Where's the second one? 
There's Nihilus multiple weapon shops. There's multiple shops. Yeah, but that's if, an armor shop that Nihilus has yeah. guns on. But if you fail and have like a one hour, multiple hour cooldown, you can't go to any of them. You have to wait in general. But it's been like six hours. Right? Yeah, no, he has well, enough. To, he it's can been go. like no, it's been like okay. eight hours because we went at ten in the morning. He can't get for he can't get the bolt gun still, but he could get something else. I went for the bolt gun. He went to the last. Wait, uh, the long range, last something. He initially went for a bolt. Uh, what the? No, that was me. He went for a bolt pistol, I think. Uh, I went for a las gun and then a long las. Yeah. Oh, okay. I went for the bolt. And yeah, you could you can go and get pretty much anything. So I can go try and get one of those again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to go into a weapon shop then. All right, Nihilus, are you gonna go with him? Sure. All right. Uh, you guys both go, and do you want to go to the same weapon shop or a different one? Don't care. Alright, you guys enter a, a different weapon weapon store. Uh, what, what can I do for you boys? Hi, um, I'm looking for a long last uh, weapon. They're scarce, but I hope you may have it. Uh, let me let me go and uh, check our inventory. He starts typing on his computer. Uh. I'm sorry, sir. We don't seem to have any of those in stock right now. Is there anything else I could do for you? Um, yes. Would you happen to have a last gun? And he, he starts typing on his computer again. Yeah, we, we, we have one of those in stock. Uh, can you roll one more fellowship test for me? Mmm! Mm. You get a best level one of them. Nice. What does that mean? Uh, I'm pretty sure it gives you like bonus to damage or something for a, a weapon. I'll check. Okay. Son of a mother duck. <laughs> I wish I got that on the long lens. <laughs> I wish I did too. I got a good right. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, the well, if I if I got the long lens, it has accurate on it. I wanted that so. So pretty much me and uh, <clears throat> me and Tybalt got like good weapons and he got like a freaking superior sort of like weapon that has more damage, right? Mm -hmm. Well mine does... So you got a last gun, right? Yeah, a last gun. Mine does plus five with four penetration, right? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, the fucking oh, bolt five? launcher? No, it's just a pistol. Bolt pistol. A but pist it, has, it has four oh, penetration. Oh, it's, it's, it's bolt though. Yeah, yeah. it's bolt. Okay. Um, I have a, a very a very nice quality las gun for uh, 350 gelt, or a couple of commons for uh, 75 gelt. Um, can I ask him like like what's the? Can he tell me the stats on the exceptional? Uh, the best quality. Hold on, I'll have to like look it up and. No. Or I wasn't. I wasn't quite sure how to like roleplay ask him mm -hmm. how much damage does this do? <laughs> Could you quantitatively give me a number one through ten as to what this might add? Yeah, in <laughs> per yeah, shot? In, it's in units of dice. Yeah. Hagel em, hagel em for the strong one. If I were to make an analogy to shooting this gun to rolling dice, <laughs> what would you say <laughs> this gun adds over this gun? Assuming I quantitatively gave my own self stats. Approximately, how much more kick ass is this gun than the other one? That's what you need to ask. Does it uh, blow it up does their one extra. It does one bonus damage. And it's last, so it already does two bonus damage? Three. Three? Oh, so it would do four bonus damage? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I were you, I'd go for it because any amount of damage is worth it. Like, Oh yeah, yeah, no, I know, and like that's guaranteed damage. So instead of um, three yeah. bonus damage, it does four bonus damage. Yeah. It costs like four times as much as well, but like still guaranteed mm -hmm. damage. Is... Like we could make money back any time, like Yeah. Um oh yeah, also yeah, when you when you go to the shop you can uh, you can sell stuff to people, right? Yeah. yeah. So you could sell your old guns. I just haven't sold mine yet because right. I still need a long range and I need my pistol in case I get in a short range. Well, this is a, like this is an exceptionally good one, so like I could sell it back later to like someone else or something. Um, if I got if I wait, it's a last pistol, right? The last gun. gun. It's a Wait, rifle. It's a, 
Oh, it's a rifle. Oh, okay. What's the it's it's not a long las though, is it? No. It's not like, okay. Oh, does the, uh, oh, does the rifle have burst? It's the one above that that can the last gun has a burst. burst three shots. Well, it, you said it's a rifle, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not a long one. Though, they have the same range. Okay, yeah, I. There's a I, bigger uh, clip, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then it can and burst fire. Um, yes, I'd like to purchase your exceptional quality last gun. Ah, very good, very good. And the. Uh, sells it to you. Okay, and that was 350? Yeah. Are these all the things he has, or...? That's what he has. Oh, okay. So the top is stuff he can get? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because as I see it, even if you do one more damage, if that's a chance to, like, kill some enemy in that, it's worth, like, more than, like, freaking like, a thousand gold, like, at least, like, fucking... Yeah. Because if you get your ass kicked by an enemy because it has, like, one health left, you're gonna be pretty pissed off. Uh, I wouldn't know what that point. Like. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so no, I... Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? Um, no, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to sell you something if you're interested. Uh, what are you selling? Uh, I have these lovely brass knuckles that have never been used before. Oh, uh, how much, how much do you plan on selling them for? Uh, oh, shit. Wait, I'm gonna look it up for you. Are, are, are yeah. these brass knuckles, are they from freaking uh, Ronnie's character, the other no. psyker? No, they're mine. Uh, uh, could... Brass knuckles are five gelt. Oh, that's pretty shit. That is pretty shitty. <laughs> Dude, if wow. you sell two of them, you can buy a silencer and get kicked out of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Guns can have more than one attachment, right? They can just only have one sight. Well, how much would you want to buy them for? Uh. Probably about two gel. <laughs> but they've never been used and they're in mint condition. Mm. Alright, you talked me into it. Three gelt. <laughs> Don't forget you're gonna buy low and sell high. Mm. Ah, three I'll gelt. buy them at a low price. <laughs> I'll buy them for seven and sell oh, no, them for three. It's Oblivion and you have low fellowship. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take them off your hands for, uh, if you give me, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's alright. I think I'll just hang on to them. Thank you, though. Alright, no problem. So you guys just gonna leave now? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, goodbye, and you guys just leave. We're so modifying those knuckles with, like, some flame shot <laughs> fucking attachment. And, like, right? <laughs> I wish. So, uh... Tybalt, Zane, you guys make your way into the dance club. The pulsing beat... Uh... Whoop. Hammers through the air. Whoop. Whoop. Though there, though it's not full quite yet, there's a couple people out on the floor, and a lot of people hanging around the bars and other tables. Just I definitely go them. onto the dance floor and start dancing. Can Before you... Zane goes anywhere... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What were you... Yeah, go for it. Yeah. This is gonna be everyone's favorite part of the night. I'm gonna need Zane to roll a perception check alongside me. Okay. So, uh, I'm looking for anyone who was previously in the bar, and I'm telling Zane to, just like in the Sororitas, try and keep an eye out for anyone who takes particular note of me. Okay. Did he? Did he actually like see like what they look like and stuff? Like, can you describe? No, he's no, just, no. He's just you're trying just, to you're just look looking out for anyone who sees me and goes. Okay, so so I'm looking for anyone that takes interest in what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, anyone who might flinch when they see me so or like try and particularly avoid me. Good. 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 Glad he got that because I didn't. <laughs> Tibble, still it's drunk on milk. <laughs> I ordered water. <laughs> it was spiked. Good. Spiked water. It was spiked with milk. I got you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. What are you trying to do, though? Because, mm -hmm. like, right now you're just looking out. Yeah, right now I'm literally just looking for them. If I see oh. someone, then I will try and approach them. Not, like, if I see them, that means they probably don't see me. If Zane sees them, that means they probably saw me, and they're going to be watching me. 
Mm-hmm. So it'll be pretty easy to see them if they don't have, have a good time in the club. Approach them not so much stealthily as much as without raising alarm. Okay. But if Zane sees someone, I'm going to try. Uh, I'll and be like not yeah. like chase them down, but catch them and. I'll basically be dancing on the club, and when I see off. people come through the door and doing like serious people business, I'll be like, "Fuck, buddy." Be more tactful, but he was Anyways, really fucking What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? That's all I'm here to do. Is I'm. I know. Up. Give me an action that you're okay. going to be doing. I walk through the club, uh, looking for anyone. I'm right now. I'm looking for anyone who I recognize, or listening to as many conversations as I walk through the club to hear anyone talking specifically about the riot. Okay. And and I'm dancing also dance floor, being yeah. cautious of who comes into the club at the same mm-hmm. time. So because I can't just wander same, through the club. Can you roll an agility play. test for me? For the dance. For the dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> Zane, Zane's partying, and a couple other people, uh, other people join in and start dancing with their drinks next to him. Has he managed to combine the moonwalk, the MC Hammer dance, <laughs> uh, smooth criminal? I, I do the, the thriller. All in one. I do the thriller. He yeah. does the thriller, and everyone in the club on the dance floor starts doing it too. <laughs> He's got Fuck a lean yeah. going on as well. <laughs> 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 Uh, anyways, as uh, as Tibble makes his way through the club, uh, one person seems to be uh, kind of interested in him, as far as uh, Garble can see as he's as he's dancing. Uh, he's on a, a far corner, the far corner of the club. From oh, I Tibble's. suppose Tibble should have at least mentioned to him if he's taking the time to. Is there for this? Is Sorry. there anything I could recognize of this person that I can notice that like who's you're looking not at? You're recognizing. Him? You're just you just notice that he's he's. Yeah. Watch it. So, I didn't kind of saying the full yeah, story. Yeah, but like, I at least told him. But, but I don't have any description of what he looks like or anything like. No, he's just he's a tall, uh, dark-haired man. Okay. That's, that's about it. Wearing so, like a red coat. So so, oh, I I I, I, I tell Tibbled over the um when I get a chance from dancing I tell Tibbled over the uh, Vox that there's a tall red-coated man that seems to have caught his attention. All right, thank you. Let me know if you see anyone else. Uh, did he... I mean, he just told me, but did he, like, give me a specific direction, or did he just say, there's a red-coated man? He, he gave... He told you which okay. Yeah. He's so across from him. Tibble's going to try and nonchalantly work his way a little closer before making his way over to him so that it's not, like, okay. just a beeline towards him. Yeah. You go and you, you continue to look like you're mingling, uh... Making your way about halfway over across the club to him, uh, occasionally just jumping into conversation awkwardly, mm-hmm. making it a complete fool of yourself. As Tibble does, laughing at jokes that people have said but weren't expecting a laugh to. As Tibble does, 